The outlets in Moldova are being accused of trying to influence its audience politically. Critics say Romanian sponsors are controlling the, con the content of TV news and publications to promote reunification with the country. But others are simply applauding more diversity in the press. Artis Alexei Ryshevsky investigates. The Moldovan press seems to have has undergone something of a makeover in the past year, with new TV programs airing different opinions. So is the media becoming stronger and freer in this country after years of domination by only a few outlets? It may seem so on the surface, but some, like internet journalist Vitaly Andreevsky, say the idea of a new dawn is only an illusion. When my website gained popularity, some people from Romania contacted me and offered financial help. This is an exchange for my website to support the idea of reunification between Moldova and Romania, something three quarters of our populations reject. Before 1945, Moldova belonged to Romania. After the war, it became part of the Soviet Union before independence on the collapse of the USSR. Since then, however, some politicians in Bucharest have been wanting it back. Andreevsky says now they can use the media as a platform, as most of the new press is sponsored by Bucharest. One of the most recent additions to Moldova's media market is the quality paper at the Verul, The Truth, which is also one of the leading national dailies in Romania. The very first edition of this Romanian newspaper had some really sharp articles. It speculated whether Moldova was a toy between Brussels and Moscow. And it also questioned FIFA's decision to grant Russia the right to host the 2018 Football World Cup. It is the first full-color paper in Moldova and it is published in the Romanian language rather than Moldovan. Its deputy editor-in-chief says this is not an obstacle to popularity here. 75% of Moldovans speak Romanian, and this is a fact proven by the Academy of Sciences. Besides, our balanced approach to news is something new for this country. Opposition politicians believe such strong media influence from Bucharest could threaten Moldova's sovereignty. The campaign that is uh, uh, being run by, by the local press that is, as I told you, subordinated to the government of Romania, um, is constructed that way to make the integration possible, camouflating it through the so-called European integration. Those promoting Romanization of Moldova have not been shy of using rather underhand methods, according to one political expert. Moldovan cable operators which broadcast Russian stations insert Romanian programs into the Russian channel's airtime. Programs which propagandize Bucharest's wish to seize back Moldova. So they use Russian stations to deliver ideas Moscow would never agree with. Opinion polls suggest that number of Moldovans wanting to reunite with Romania has tripled over the last 12 months, from just 5 to 15%. Whether that's down to the media is difficult to say for sure, but those who promote reunification certainly see this sector as a key target to increase their influence. Alexei Roshevsky, RT, reporting from Chisinau, Moldova.